We've done a lot of derivatives in the past few videos and we'll continue to do a lot of derivatives in the next few videos. So I just want to take a moment to explain some of the shorthand that I'll be using over the next few videos. Say you have a function f and it's a function of x and t, right? Maybe their position and time. It's likely that you've seen f prime of x and t. It's likely you've seen that um, that prime used to denote a derivative with respect to x. So d dx of f, which is a function of x and t, right? So you've probably seen this before, and and f double prime f double prime two primes just means two derivatives with respect to x. So this will be two derivatives with respect to x of f of x and t. Now similar to this prime, we can also use a dot. And this is something that is pretty common in math and physics. So f dot, which is a function of x and t, is just another way of writing a derivative with respect to time of this function of x and t. And then, just like with the primes, we can add two dots. We can say f double dot is a function of x and t, and that's just two derivatives, the second derivative with respect to time of this function f of x and t. And we could use three dots to say we're taking three derivatives and so on. But this notation is useful when we're doing lots of derivatives in a problem. And the derivatives might be with respect to different, different variables. So that's really all for this video. A prime is a derivative with respect to x, and a dot is a derivative with respect to time.